Well, Mel and Todd have only two inside linebackers going in the first round of their latest mock drafts, and they've got them on the same teams. Both have the Bucks taking LSU's Devin White with the number five pick, and then the Bengals drafting Devin Bush out of Michigan at number 11. I have to say before we start that from a personal standpoint, I couldn't be a bigger fan of Devin White. He's such a nice kid, a great guy, and he's handled this process so well. I will turn it over to you, Teddy, to talk about his skill set. Well, I don't care about his personal aspect right now. <laughs> know, because, watch, because watching <laughs> him on film and seeing him play linebacker position is just exciting to me. You talk about new age linebackers and what they want from you. This is, you know, I want to say prototype in terms of, you know, quotation marks because you watch him, everything go into the defensive left right there, the offensive right. He's able to slip a, slip a blocker, still got the speed to redirect and run down the Wildcats running back slash quarterback. Off the edge, they sent him there at LSU. A nice up and under with the rip move getting after the quarterback. Such a good blitzer in terms of putting pressure on the quarterback. The guy ran a 4-4 at the combine, and you can see it. You can see all of that, but also the effort. I mean, you get blocked, okay? You run into a couple blockers, but you keep going. The motor that he has, fun to watch. You want to see 4-4? This is 4-4 right here. Mm -hmm. Snap to quarterback instantaneously. It's what he does. It's what you need in today's NFL to cover space, to be that type of linebacker that can play three downs. you got to say backer tracker. That's my backer tracker. I know. Okay, good. Ball. I saw it up there. Yes. I can't believe I didn't hear you say <laughs> Great player. It. Uh, Jim, agree? I agree totally with Teddy. And one thing I'd say to, to piggyback onto that, he's a great blitzer. You know, we talked about Roquan mm. Smith last year to Chicago Bears, right. sixth overall pick, great blitzer. I see the same kind of knack in Devin White. I mean, this guy's got a knack for timing it. And like you said, you see the 4-4, you see the 4-4 when he's shooting that A-gap. And, we, you know, the league's all about putting pressure on the quarterback. Sometimes you can't do it with your front four. Sometimes it, it, it takes the linebackers to get involved. And this kid's got a knack for it. He's going he's gonna to be really disruptive in that role. And I'm with Teddy. This guy and Devin Bush, the two linebackers, uh, Michigan and LSU, two cleanest play, two of the cleanest players in this draft. Jim, how does it rank Devin White, Devin Bush, Roquan Smith? How do they compare in terms of ranking coming out? They're right there. I mean, because they together? were, yeah, because they were all clean. They're, they all have traits. They all have tools. They all tested well. They have great production on tape, and they're all high makeup guys. So to me, you, a lot of teams don't like taking inside linebackers that high. But for these three guys, they're. They belong in that top 10 conversation. So, as I mentioned, Mel and Todd have Devin going to number uh, to the Bucks at yeah. number five. What do you hear? Well, that is the most logical scenario, okay? Because Tampa Bay lost Quan Alexander, a player that they wanted to keep. They need somebody. They have a new defensive coordinator in Todd Bowles. I'm sure Todd Bowles watches that tape of <laughs> Devin White and says, allow me to put this guy in my defense. Mm -hmm. Tampa Bay, I think once we get to that slot in the draft, you are on the clock. For a guy like Devin White at that point in time. But let me give you one scenario that I don't think anybody's talked about. What if, as we talked about, in the unlikely event that Arizona decides to go with one of the defensive players, Bosa or Williams? And let's say that those two guys go with the first two picks in the draft and the Jets go Josh Allen. All of a sudden, you're sitting there at number four. The Raiders are there. Could the Raiders go with a guy like Devin White to help repair a defense that's in desperate need of repairs, knowing how good and solid he is. So I know everybody's talking about Tampa, but I think there's a scenario, a crazy wild curveball scenario, in which Devin White could even go number four. Well, to uh, well we saw a crazy wild curveball scenario last year. So and what you see in crazy. teams that don't have a Devin White, Roquan Smith type of player, they're starting to use more and more safeties at these positions. And then all of a sudden, whether it be to injury because you don't have the linebackers like the Los Angeles Chargers had all those DBs playing towards the end of the year, you run into a power running team, all of a sudden, what are you doing? You know, you can't stop it. So you need not only the, a, a quality every down linebacker, but depth at the position. It's like Devin squared. We talk about Devin White. We got to talk about Devin Bush. Jim. Yeah, Devin Bush is the other guy. I think, I think yeah. they go right hand in hand. I think it's going to be flavor of the week for whatever team. I think some teams will have Bush over White. I think it's, I mean, they're that close. Devin Bush, like you said, used the term new wave linebacker, Teddy. This guy fits it as well. I mean, he's got speed. He's got range. He matches up in space. He can cover. You actually see a lot more coverage on tape from Devin Bush than you do Devin White. And again, he's the heart and soul of this defense. When, they, when he was off the field last year, you felt the impact on that Michigan defense. He's just like Devin White. He's going to come in. He's going to He's got a presence about him. He loves football. They're both aggressive players, violent players. Love they they yeah. play the position how you want them to play it. So many similarities. How are they different? TV? Okay, how they in terms of where they'll need to improve 
at the next level. This is my back to tracker touch. touch okay, thank you. you. Okay, back so, so here we go. Here's Bush right here, and what I'm going to want you to focus on is the picture that he's right. He sees right there as an off the ball inside linebacker. So as the ball is snapped right here, boom. This is your classic sort of zone read play coming this way and you'll see the reaction of Bush watch his body position start from here and he takes two big steps right there watch this boom there's the read but in essence this is an outside run that play so a little bit more patience in your diagnosis would have helped there because now the offensive lineman has an angle on you so boom so imagine his feet instead of being right here being right here. You remember those two steps that he took? Wasted movement. This is how you'll have to get better in the National Football League because there's a point right here, guys, where he is literally about eight to nine yards from the line of scrimmage. Now, this is a good play because watch the play that he makes. Wow, right there. Puts him down. <laughs> it's a great hit, but it's about at, I'd say, I don't know, three, four, five, six yard gain. If I'm his coach in the NFL with a better read, with a little more patience, beating that offensive lineman, this play right here shouldn't be here. It right. should be right about here for a two yard game. So turning those six yard tackles to two yard tackles, eventually they're tackles for losses. That's the progression right there for a young linebacker. Potential landing, landing spot in this situation. No, you know, we talked about the Raiders and it's a bit high, but he visited the Raiders this week, which was interesting. Now, the Raiders have three first-round draft picks. Oh, I don't think they want to give up capital to move up, but I think once we get to right around pick 10 and beyond, we start to move into Devin Bush category. We talked about the Bengals and a quarterback. That will be one of the decisions they have to make. Do you want to go quarterback, or do you want to go somebody like Devin Bush to help your defense that seems to be getting something of a little bit of a makeover this offseason? Green Bay makes a lot of sense. There are a lot of places that makes sense for Devin Bush. 